even if other great alternatives are developed, we're going to use our coal. Uh, and if it's not us, it's going to be China or it's going to be India. And so we need technologies that allow us to use our fossil fuels safely. With a trillion dollars currently invested in the U.S. and China in coal plants, retrofitting is only one answer. The obvious question is, what should the next generation power plant look like? In 2005, the U.S. began work on a prototype for a zero-emission coal-based plant called FutureGen. When completed, it will be the cleanest fossil fuel-fired power plant in the world. The FutureGen project is actually the culmination of over 30 years of research and development by the U.S. Department of Energy. This is an international effort. The government is putting up, uh, as I recall, about 60% of the money, private, the private sector about 40%. We have nine companies uh, with, uh, that are participating in this effort. Uh, as, a, as representatives of the private sector, we have electric utilities, we have coal companies. It's a billion dollar power plant that is going to take coal, gasify it to this process called Integrated Gasification Combined Cycle, or IGCC. It will remove the CO2 from the system it will inject a minimum of one million tons per year into deep geological formations. Put together the model of a zero emission power plant for the future. In the less than one and a half years since we have been involved in that, we've completed a conceptual design and cost estimate for the plant, and we received 12 bids from seven states. And right now we are evaluating those sites for the environmental impacts and so on. And by the end of this year, we will narrow that down to one site. Not everyone agrees that FutureGen is worth the huge investment in time and resources. Well, FutureGen is a federal program that to my mind has all of the markings of a badly run program. FutureGen is absorbing a lot of money in our small energy research and development uh, portfolio. And it doesn't have to come through with a working prototype for quite some time. Well, many people ask, why 2012? Can't you do it sooner? And the answer is no. I wish we could do it sooner. You have to go through a process of getting what's called the environmental impact statement. That takes at least one year, often two to three years. It takes years to design and to procure all of the equipment. It takes at least three to four years to build this power plant. So we are actually on a very fast track. And I would much rather save those federal handouts for areas that truly are carbon free and for industries that have been disadvantaged over the years, like solar, like wind, where we have not been investing and we don't have a commercial revenue stream today as we do for coal.